So those goblins are weird. That's, that's not a very fun goblin. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever seen the card Conspiracy? It has a bunch of goblins like standing back with, I think, blowguns. Oh yeah. So here's, I'll pick this one. And this is the cool Nom 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 nom. And then there's the rock. The rock. <laughs> We're gonna do an altar with like Dwayne. On it. All right, so I'll play first. What's that? For everything you cut up between Armand, yeah. you should send it to me so I can post it on my YouTube. Sweet, okay. How about I just let you post the match? I could just give him the match. He's okay with that. It's awful. I think I keep. It's like not bad enough to throw away. Hmm. Okay. Fetch 24. Yeah. Get that damage in, right? Every little bit. Now, this is not a planes. That's a forest. Okay. That is It's a misprint. Uh, it's a German third edition one. Where they, it's a so revised. It's black border because they did four in black border for revised edition, and they just goofed. They, you still see the green mana symbol there. It's called Wald, which is German for forest. But it's a plains art, and it's it's. So I, I love these things. I I have one, and then I just love them so much I kept picking them up. <laughs> Commune with nature. I heard you. I'm not sure I should repeat that. You're gonna check my hand again? <laughs> that. Uh, Nettle City. <laughs> Jesus. I know, right? Hey, he's never like that. He's never like that. Uh, pass. No, yeah, pass turn. It's in my hand. Not on the field. Oh, wait. You know, we are recording. We can hear that. Sorry. Yeah, you're good. Sorry, you said. So your shirt is on yours, Chris. Waste of tears. Okay. It's okay. I know what you mean. Nettle and hair destroyed. Best friends. Best friends. Match made in heaven. Um, pass turn? I mean, it's in the name of the game, right? Oh, wait. Burrows? Which one is that? It's a... Uh, okay, okay. It's a little goblin pump. Gotcha, gotcha. And we're gonna go dragon farm. Yes. Get those goblins out there. I ain't afraid of no goblins. Zip these. These are awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Let me, let me show these off for you, my friend. <laughs> okay, so... That is 3D. He alt he gave it bold lines, so that's pretty sweet. That's pretty sick. And this one hasn't been altered as far as like the art goes. It's just been cut, but still. Look at that! Look at that! He's so cute and so deadly. All right, let's turn. Yes, sir. Let's see. I'm gonna check my sideboard.
I think I was saying before the match got started, before the camera was turned on, I think we're going to be a little bit stronger than our uh, our structured at counterparts. I, I, I think so. Wood Elves comes into play, search for a forest, put it in play. Does not come in tapped. I'd say, yeah. Heritage Druid's ability. Three. Mm -hmm. Here comes all the zero, maybe. Living Wish. Okay. Untap. <laughs> Is that any card from someone? Yeah, well, any creature land. Okay, cool. I use the uh, green white one. They have to be multi -color. Rins Run Vanquisher. So, uh, one still floating. Comes to hand. Rins Run Vanquisher. Revealing Draga War Caller to make it only cost two. Yeah. Um, <laughs> past turn. Of course that's all. Draga. That's all I got. Of course it's Draga. Let's see. A little worried about the double block is why I'm not attacking here. You too. That's why. Because <laughs> Nell and Heritage are kind of insane. I wouldn't put it past him to one for one here. I had a good one back in the day. Go the chief. Oh no, you told me to get I'll call it done after that. Go ahead, buddy. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you weren't sure if that's what happened. It was like a storm. It was like a backyard. Missouri? Somewhere? Priest? Pass turn. I don't exactly know how I'm ordering them. I've run out of space, of course. The joys of playing elves on camera. Right. Let's see. Oh, and because there's glare, let me. It's a uh, Grinzo. I'm sorry, just in case. Well, they see the title, though. They see the title. Grinzo's pretty popular, I think. Oh, yeah. And he's a goblin. Okay. Jay, are you Yo. Um, I don't think so. Is there uh there's no Yu-Gi-Oh this Saturday? No, there's no Yu-Gi-Oh this Saturday, but I was wondering if I could you would get charge of coming on Saturday or something. Cycle Jim Palm. Uh give me just a moment to think about this, okay? Um, Tap using Heritage Druid's ability to generate six mana. Okay. We'll pump, uh, pump him. Right. It is only three damage, right? Three yes. goblins. Okay. On the other hand, I'm open now, so yeah, that's a that's a thing. Something had to happen. Yeah. <laughs> I don't blame you. And it is still a draw, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> Those moss. All right. There's a. Oh. Oh. You have. Go, you have actual tokens. Okay. I use, I'm used to getting out my rock paper scissors, but you have actual tokens. I might run out. Oh man. Um, let's see. So you are in for two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. 
And I will await my inevitable death next turn. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're tapped out, and I have, I'm untapping with Priest and Azuri out, so... Um, and you know I have a Drago Warcaller in hand as well. Right. I'm actually tempted, though. No, let's not get too cute. Yes, let's get too cute. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Make a 50 mana. <laughs> uh, slightly more than that. Uh, I'll Cloudstone Curio. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, have you seen this before? <laughs> okay, so Draga Warcaller with the trigger on the stack. Um, I will use. I will tap these three to return Heritage Druid to hand. So I have three man, three green mana floating. Spend one of it to cast Heritage Druid, untapping Nettle Sentinel, and returning through Clouds and Curios effects, Draga Warcaller. Spend one, go to one, do it again, infinite mana. <laughs> and then and I'll just make it And then just make them infinity infinite. I know we can't actually go infinite, but arbitrarily high number. Yeah, it's, it's basically infinity. And then swing yeah, the team and then that's So uh yeah, that happened. That is Zuri, bro. He's so good. He is. He's he's quite the cod. And then I'll have to remember to take my wishboard card out. <laughs> That's, that seems important. I have yet to go inside for this deck. Oh man. Uh, you could run a... There is a wish for red. It goes and get sorceries. Maybe. It's a two drop. I want to say it's burning wish. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I literally built this one probably about three hours ago. Fair enough. Okay, no, no, <laughs> definitely understood that. You, you did what you could right there. I, it, it's a lot of risk. Uh, with two mana, I was trying to think of what you had that could just kill me that turn. If I, I had a Rabble Master in here, I was just like... Rabble, Rabble, Rabble. <laughs> Like, I just can't get goblins out fast enough, and they trample, they trample. They do trample, yeah. Like, they, they definitely do. Yeah, so that was 10 damage, and I was I was kind of thinking it might end up being worse than that, but I, I couldn't think of any cards at 2 mana. Like, I was thinking about bringing Grinzo out and taking a chance and popping the 2, but it was a swamp on the bottom, so that would have been oh, awful. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I mean, is there some way you can go infinite in this deck? No, I don't play infinite combos. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of, in tiny leaders, in those colors, a way you could go infinite for his X, but... I just don't really like going infinite. Fair enough. Fair enough. And frankly, unless it's like a one-card combo, you're probably diluting it too much. Right. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, you know, I just like basic aggro, yeah. yeah. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all. Skirt Prospector, Goblin Sharpshooter. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, I, I don't play Sharpshooter in here. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, sometimes it gives you that extra little bit of reach you need. Right. Especially against the ensnaring bridge decks, like the mill deck. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is also kind of iffy. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, let me adjust this. I think I, I think I keep. Give me just a moment, just to double check. <sighs> yeah, I keep... Let's go for it. I'll take two. Yes. Down to 23. No. That'll work. Oh. Shit. Guess what I just did. I guess he was in here. <laughs> or, uh, oh, it is here. Yeah. yeah. Do you mind if we just shuffle again? That's fine. I do that all the time. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. No, and then you can't really put a different sleeve on it because they'll tuck them as soon as you do. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in Tiny Leaders, they explicitly stated that the Tuck Rule is, is not going to be like the rest of Commander, right? Uh, I thought it was the opposite. Commander, they've eliminated Tuck Rule. Exactly, and exactly. It, so they, like, they don't have any jurisdiction over Tiny Leaders yet, so I guess it's really just up yeah. to the players. I, so as I understand it, Tiny Leaders is Commander Rules plus whatever specific rule changes they make? Oh, uh, I, I usually just go by their Facebook. Yeah, yeah. If they, if they, if they change something, okay, they'll let us know. I haven't drawn any extra cards or anything. It's just you're not... And he's obviously not male. Right. So that's turn, you said? Yeah. Which one are you? Sacro has a goblin to regenerate a target creature. Okay. To regenerate any creature. That sounds pretty good. Let's see. Only kind of protection I got in goblin red decks. So. Commune? Oh, yeah. Always, it's only five cards, and then I pick up like ten. I always pick up way too many cards. Oh, cards like that. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Anything good? Um. 
Potentially. Uh, I think it's a little too. It's too little too late though. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is not <laughs> quite as effective. <laughs> you too. As I would have liked, as I would have hoped. Pretty good. One of my old favorites. Oh, yeah. And then that's turn. It's just. <laughs> you're getting, you're gonna get out of the gate a little more quickly. Contested war zone deals combat damage. Get creature. Okay, I think you're gonna do that a little more than me. If I don't kill you that swing, I'm probably not killing you. One, and I'll hit you for zero. Does it have exalt? Oh, it's not exalted. No, it's like okay. No, no, it's a uh, target creature with power two or less. You just steal the land. If you hit me, you get it. Yeah, if. Big if. I, I just like the flavor of it. Really. It's pretty sweet. I'll, I'll admit. You're right. Absolutely right. Now. Huh. Huh. It's cursing like a sailor over there. What's going on? Potty mouth, man. <laughs> You keep talking shit. I will seriously I am on camera. We are recording. Oh, sorry, I'm so loud. You're like a light. This is all in the air. we do. Actual everything. Um. It says fault. recording this See, you're over there talking. Thanks for the so many choices. So many. Yeah, I'm sorry this is taking oh, no a while. <sighs> Honestly, don't. There's more than one line. I want to show you my hand and show you my thought process. Uh, Every hand is different. Love yeah. Singleton play. Extra next time around. You're good. Exile Elder Spirit Guide. Yeah, it's Simeon Spirit Guide for green. And it's an elf. Elvis Arch Druid. Pass turn. Yeah. Hmm. Did not get the land. Target creature power two or less gains haste. Can't be blocked. Okay. I really need to know land. Ooh. It's not good. I believe you. Impact trimmers. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, one damage to each opponent. Ew. Ew. Okay. Yeah, it's been Zero. That was that was cool. <laughs> okay. Sylvan Ranger, go and get a basic land. Yeah. Heard this song in a while. Oh, this is too much. Oh no, this is this is sugar. Okay. There you go. Oh, I just realized a Fallen Empires card is seeing play here. That's it pretty is. cool. And it's not Goblin Grenade. That's probably in there too, almost invariably. But okay, so they're tapped. Um, let's see. Hmm. So thank you. Drop that man. Two. Four. 
Elvish Harbinger. There's got to be an elf. What elf do I want here? But you won't find many of those in there. <laughs> oh, rats. Definitely the best of the Harbingers. Like. Uh, maybe the elemental one, if only because he's a one drop, but you're right, this one does this some mana. Yeah, yeah. And it's any color, right? It is. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh. Oh, you. Check the hand again. Imperious Perfect. It lords them and then it makes tokens, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you got it. Mm -hmm. And then this says they can't be blocked. Sorry. No restriction, just can't be blocked. Oh, they gotta be power two or less. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm, no restriction on the creatures that can or cannot block. Right. It's just cannot block. Um, one floating. Bye bye. Uh, pass turn. Oh, thank you. Mm, there we go. Only one red, though. That's something. While you're doing that, checking the sideboard. Hmm. Hi, Grenzo. Take one damage? Yep. Oh, I take one damage from a... Uh, uh, the, the uh, impact chambers. Okay. And I'll pass. Go ahead. Okay. I wonder what I drew. Um. Hmm. That's the same. Oh, I totally could have pumped him. Living Wish. A waste your blood crypt. Well, you just said nothing was going on. Nothing was going on because there was a counter and nobody was. See, obviously it's perfect or Azuri. It's one of those. <gasps> yeah. Build an army or let's try to break through. I, it's also playing around your burn potentially. Uh, it doesn't matter too, too much here because uh, even with Imperious Perfect, you're still susceptible to bolts. Right. And whatever else. Flame Slash. Uh, and also, I won't have any mana to reach in with Azuri out. So I'm going to get Imperious Perfect out, let you get rid of your summoning sickness a little sooner than you would have otherwise, and pass the turn. Shite. You know what? Hey, make Azuri! <laughs> you know what? Oh, uh, what? Whatever. That's that's wrong with me. I should have just made Azuri, too. <laughs> okay. Target opponent loses one life for each attack. Oh, okay. Uh, um, I got nothing, man. I'm man of screen. Go ahead. Wait, why is this in the graveyard now? Oh, because of uh, his ability. Oh, I see. You, you popped it. Okay. Go ahead. I got nothing. Mm. Well, if I keep misplaying, it might not matter. <laughs> I missed the, I missed the counter on him. Oh, I got you. That happens. Admittedly, fair enough. Well, I think I'm only like 15 lands in this deck. I think I need to pump it up a little bit. Dryad Arbor? And I still have four, too. Ugh. Five. I think it may be too soon.
Generate five. Zuri. Two floating. Pay one of the floating. Tap Imperius Perfect. Elf Warrior. Very nice. One left. Spend the one and two on a Reclamation Sage to destroy Break Through the Line. And then pretend that I have any. No. Um, pass turn. Mine is not nearly as cool as yours. Okay, there it is. There it is. Yeah. My token is strictly worse than your token. <laughs> if you give me four of them, I'll make you one. Then. Oh, that's pretty sweet. I actually only have three to my well, name. Well, I only need three once for it if I mess it. Gotcha. Oh, fair enough. Um, well, I have some more at home. Um, um, no, that's not a bad idea. I mean, actually, if you don't mind, after this, can I just... Yeah, you, yeah. Can, get, you can get my number. Sweet. Yeah. I, well, I think it is a charge ten bucks an hour. It'll take me two. Okay, cool. But, I mean... Strictly, just tell me what you want. No. Give him like extra thick lines around the abs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's like the the strangest feature about this one. He's you see him. I don't know if that's like him sucking in so the ribs are way out in front, or if that's like a line drawn on him. Or darken up these shadows, darken the lines on the vest. Yeah. Um, he looks like he's just going. <laughs> but as far as the 3D-ness of it goes, yeah. uh, the arm obviously, and oh, the shield yeah. shit sticks out farther than the body. Mm -hmm. So it go, this would be the back, this would be the middle, this would be the front. Well, he's got a staff there. No, this ended the very back. So you have okay. a, and you choose your background, whatever you want. So if you have a full art land you want to use, or just use that art. Let me think about that before I before we do this like today or anything. But yeah, anyway, so I'll make it's one your turn. Home and I'll trade you for the tokens. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, what to do? What to do? Let's tell you what happens here. Ah, another swamp. Uh, has to be a creature. How are less than this? Oh, goblin grenade. Nuke. Um, there's your fallen uh, kingdoms. Yeah. <laughs> when you said that, I was like, it's actually my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so add a counter. Got Slow it down a little more. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, admittedly. Um, I'm definitely not swinging into that wall. Go ahead. <laughs> Shit, I did it again. Elvish Arch Druid. Make a bunch. <laughs> why do I forget? Why do I forget that you're there? I'm you know, sorry, he buddy. Doesn't, he doesn't like when you forget I'm about sorry, him. buddy. Well, you know what? You know what? I don't think it matters, but we'll see. We'll see. It might. It might. Because it'll, it'll matter a little bit that I didn't save Azuri. In fact, it'll matter one card. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, it ends up being the same math anyway, so I might as well just make another dude. Right. Well... Yeah, we'll make another dude. And then Guy's Cradle will now tap for one more to make up for that one. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Would have been nine. Nine, ten. Eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Nineteen. Genesis Wave X equals sixteen. That's pretty Would have been seventeen. <laughs> Okay, so... What could you possibly be digging for? You pretty much have all the stuff you need to run. Critical mass. <laughs> oh, that works uh, too. <laughs> Viridian Shaman. You are not a May ability, so I hope I don't... Co well, I'll just let you come into play before the others. Two, three, they actually four, actually all the same five, time. six. So, yeah, she'd have to destroy an artifact if I come across one. Yeah, that's true. It's not a May. No. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten... That's my hand. Oh, that is awesome. I haven't seen that chapter. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 15, 16. Okay, so you and into the battle, into the graveyard. So what are you going to do if I top that my sudden demise? Cry. <laughs> <laughs> Green sun is in the yard. And then everything else is a permanent and thus gets put into play. So let me sort them. Lands. Oh, yeah, oh, I already yeah, pulled them out. Pulled them out. Um, let's see, there's another forest, two fetch lands, 
And then, all of you guys. So no artifacts, although I just told you know that Clouds and Curry is in here. Right, right, right. I was a little worried about that. And granted, I have Heritage now, so I could try to like trigger right. on the stack, do do some shenanigans. But yeah, that's about. Yeah. So I got one turn. <laughs> yeah. Um. Then I'll. Reap. Mm, gotta fetch first, actually. Gotta fetch before I do this. So we'll go to 22. Two more forests. And then we'll cast Azuri. And then you will have another removal spell. And then I will pass the turn. This field. See, you actually cast the Genesis play for two reasons. Firstly, to get a critical mass and, and beat them down. And secondly, to move into their zone and tilt <laughs> right. them. I have no table. Volcanic <laughs> fallout, volcanic fallout. Actually, one lord, two lords, I did not hit a three lords. Time. Okay, so that wouldn't, that wouldn't do it. Alright, man. That's good. Oh, boy. Good, <laughs> good job, dude. good job. I have to tweak this guy and get a rematch next week. And that's even with me. Now, granted, sometimes your deck was... Oh yeah, the wasteland needs to come out. Yeah, um, it didn't give you what you needed. I, I know it could have been, just could have been stronger than that. Uh, if you hit the spot removal early in the game, when I'm trying to like get some mana dorks out for land for mana, Got a single bit of spot rain. removal, none, no hand disruption, a thought seed, yeah, the Inquisition of Coley's there. I know that's not like typically how your deck works. So next time, next time, invariably it'll go all well for you, and then I will be, you know, <laughs> Elves versus Goblins is always fun. It is, yeah. I had I a Zuri, then I turned it into Radha, then I gave it to my buddy. Okay. And like you said, you, you threw this together like three hours ago. So. Yeah. I mean, I'm missing a couple of Gotlands. You don't happen to have a uh, pile you don't driver. Have any pile driver? No, I do not. I'm sorry. I, I, got, I got one of them. I got the. Uh, what's his name? The two drop. You know, do you have an Ether Vial? It's a one mana artifact. During your upkeep, you can put a vial counter on it, and then you can tap it at any time to put a creature with CMC equal to the number of counters on it into play. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's great for this kind of deck. I put a Zuri in here again. Let me just show off my my forgetting how to play mad how to play tiny leaders. Do you want this elf in particular, or do you want a different elf? Uh, well, I like I dislike and like the fact that it looks like it's doing this like sucking in bar. Barbie doll thing. Well, like, it could be fixed with some touch-ups. You're right. You're right. Um, uh, like I said, uh, let me get your number. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's not be on camera when we're showing, yeah, giving yeah, our right. number. There's the Azuri. All right. See you later, YouTube. Take care.